I'm not, I don't just mean the ones at the back, but any of you who want to, you know, do this, um, just hold it like that and then that'll be fine. Uh, it's entirely natural, doesn't it, this whole artifice of comedy. Um, so, uh, so that was Diana, that was uh, completing the uh, female red-haired portion of the evening. Um, we, we get a tax break if we do it. Um, so, um, we've got one more fantastic act in this section of the show, then you can have an interval, and you can go to the bar, get drinks, all that sort of thing, and then in the second half, the fantastic Pat Monaghan. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, I know that you're tired and you're thirsty, and that many of you are probably hungry, for which I apologise, even though I don't actually work here, but I apologise anyway. Um, um, but I'm sure that within you, you can find that last push of laughter, applause, energy, love, and general enthusiasm. Can you, Guildford? Can you? Yes! Yeah. Yeah, so please welcome fantastic Zara Barry, ladies and gentlemen, all the way to the stage! Hello! 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 One, two. Oh, should we try this one? And see. Should I reintroduce you? Would you like to be reintroduced? I'll reintroduce. I'll reintroduce. There, uh, there you go. That was rubbish. Um, uh, la la ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's because I've turned it off. That was. I know what was wrong. That. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Don't don't go the this far. Can I take it out? Can I take? You can take it out, oh, okay. it's far over there, okay. because it's not a long cable. Okay. This is all the stuff they cut out live at the Apollo, oh. all right? <laughs> so don't go stage left, all right? Yeah. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome lots of love, warmth, joy, applause, energy, and Zara Barry! <laughs> Hello! Hello, yes, um, my name is Zara. Uh, you know, like the shop. Um, but... <laughs> But unlike the shop, um, my name is spelt Z-A-H-R-A um, and that's because it's an Arabic name and my Arabic family pronounce it Zahra <laughs> because they're from Qatar No, they've got, they've got guitar. Uh, they're, actually, they're actually from Egypt. Um, I'm half Egyptian, the other half of me is Irish. Um, now, being half Arab and half Irish, I am fully aware that my true vocation in life is terrorism. <laughs> That's what the careers advisor told me anyway. Uh, say that to people on public transport, you get surprisingly more legroom. <laughs> Um, but no, I did consider terrorism as a possible career path. Um, let's be honest, I think we all have. Uh, but in this current climate, there's actually quite a lot of competition. Um, so I settled for a career in stand-up. And it got me thinking, right, stand-up and terrorism are actually quite similar. Um, because both, you have to be good with large crowds. <laughs> It's all in the timing. <laughs> and you have to be willing to die. <laughs> so I sort of transferred. <laughs> Celebrating people of colour. Orange people. <laughs> Finally being accepted into our community. Which is wonderful. And I also like the show because um, it raises awareness of female genital mutilation. <laughs> Hundreds of girls in Essex get bejazzled every day. <laughs> it's very sad. Yeah. But uh, Guildford, uh, it's nice to be here in Guildford. It's very, it's very posh, isn't it? Um, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I know what posh is because I live in West London, <clears throat> Acton. So I, I know, I know, what, or a tit man. And that got me thinking about the bigger picture. Um, and I thought that's probably why the coalition did so well, because you had an arse and a tip. <laughs> Everybody's happy. I'm really surprised I didn't get voted back in. I'm only joking. I actually voted for, um, I voted for Labour, um, because I thought Kate Middleton looked so good after Labour, I thought the UK would too. <laughs> no one was with me on that. No, but I have got a boyfriend now. I'm, I'm not single. I'm not single. I didn't just go on dating in the dark. I did sort of regular dating in the daytime as well. And um, 
I was with this guy one one time, um, and he had a dodgy eye. Um, so I thought nothing of it when he said that he had a sty. Turns out it was an STI. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm only joking. Um, I actually got an STI from trying on a bikini in Primark. <laughs> But this isn't an STI, but have any, any of you ladies ever had cystitis? Oh, come on. you got to admit to it. It's, everyone's had it. It stings when you pee. It's a urinary tract infection, and it's caused by too much sex and slash or too much alcohol. Um, and I've got a tip for you ladies if you ever get it again, because I went to the doctor about it, and she prescribed me natural bio yogurt to put on my downstairs. Um, she said that the El Casio immunitas in the yoghurt helps to counteract the cystitis. It's funny because I always thought that El Casio immunitas was a villa in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's a different type of culture. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, I'm putting it on. I'm putting it on every night and it, it seems to be working. Um, but um, one night I, I run out, so, so I used a Muller Fruit Corner. 